Hey, hey, hey! It's Game Bird! Back with some more Crash Bash, and as you can tell, this warp room seems a little bit different than where we last left off. Why? Because this is a brand new warp room, only available if you beat the game or cheated it somehow. Now, if you collected all the stuff in all four warp rooms, by now you would have 120% of the game completed. I have 121% of the time I actually played the game and recording failed. <laughs> uh, I don't just love that. Anyway, we're going to start off with Metal Crash, something that I've already completed. Somewhat. And it's kind of a little bit difficult if you have. And I'll stress it's enough. No analog sticks. Three. You know what? A second thought. Hang on a sec. I just remembered this game doesn't use the X button. <laughs> uh, but then again, I can't show you the rules, so I'll just tell you this. Basically, you have to mash every mushroom that is there, and you have to win by having the most points. Mushrooms range between regular mushrooms reach reaches between one, two, or one, three. No wait. I already forgot, dang it. Two, three, or five points. Gold mushrooms are like 10, 15, to 20 points. Basically, you mash with square button, hold another square button, create more power. I mean, you can knock players back. And collectible shoes are like speak you up as usual. And there's a lightning bolt over ringing the day, creating a bigger shockwave. But it doesn't matter because I have an analog stick. And my god, does it feel awkward! That was absolutely jerkish. Oh, come on! You just had to copy me. Man, this feels good.
I take that one. Come on. Come on, Dan. Make a little. Oh. Do a little dance. Get down that. God, it's so much easier with an analog stick. Only problem is, when I get back into the uh, for warp room, I'm gonna have to switch back. Because the only way I can actually choose another game is by using the X button. I don't know what the controller actually looks like. It's one of those translucent things. Transparent. And I take that last one. So I win. God, I feel because I have an analog stick. I love the analog stick. It's so bad. Let me go. Let's look at this. Look what I can do with the analog stick. Well, I can't right now because. Because whatever. Move a circle! A horrible, horrible circle! <laughs> uh, but if this was Crash 2 or Crash 3, I could be a walk. <sighs> well, what a difference. So, anyway. Yeah, I'm pressing the X button and it's not doing anything just to show you how broken it is. Anyway, let's go on to the gem challenge once I switch controllers and switch back. Alright. The standard rule of the gem challenge in here. Win by having your score, score decrease to zero the fastest. With the odds against you. Go mushroom, go mushroom. Bye! Oh, by the way, the mushrooms explode if you don't hit it for some time.
Yeah, they call it call and cook it. You can mix them up. Okay, that kind of helped. That didn't help! Come here and talk. I know I called you Qualcomm a lot, but you kind of look the same. In fact, I'm pretty sure you have the same model, just redesigned. That cap at its best. I was just teasing. So we got the jump for that challenge, and now we're going off to the crystal challenge, 
right after I change controllers again. Without any further delays, let's go on to the last part of this challenge, the Crystal Challenge. Here, avoid the opponent's shockwave as they will actually knock you off. And it's automatic too for them. You still need to charge up. Still loving the analog stick. And I won. It's weird because it took me like six tries in of recordings. Uh, and I believe that does it for this episode. And I have to say goodbye to my analog stick controller. Well, I'll see you guys back next week. Or not next week, it's another time. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do that the hour of the weekly. But see you next time for another episode. What you thinking we're gonna do next? Who knows? Who even cares anyway? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs>